Hello everyone. I am Nathina Krishna Kumar and my presentation is on detection and diagnosis of breast cancer using a Bayesian approach. First, in the introduction and background, we will look at the motivation, proposal, research questions, and related work. Then in the methods and results section, we will look at the methodology overview, the learned Bayesian network, Markov blanket, and conditional probabilities, and the Bayesian network as a classifier. In the next section, we will discuss threats to validity and future work. In the last section, we will conclude our discussion. Breast cancer is a growing health concern and is the most common cancer found among women. In the year 2018 alone, there were over 2 million cases, accounting for 25.4% of all new cases in women. As breast cancer rates increase, early detection of benign and malignant diagnoses are becoming more important for early intervention and treatments. In areas with limited resources, a reliable decision support system can help clinicians detect cancer quickly and with greater confidence. As a solution, we would like to build a reliable decision support system to help physicians give quantitative probabilistic risk profiles for patients. For our granular analysis, we used a Bayesian approach and the Wisconsin Breast Cancer Diagnostic Dataset from the UCI Machine Learning Repository, which is open source and publicly available. By using a Bayesian approach, our aim was to build a model that was reliable, reproducible, and explainable rather than a black box model that lacks interpretability. On this slide, we have our research questions. First, which features and intervals detect the highest and lowest probabilities for malignant cancer? Which features and intervals detect the highest and lowest probabilities for benign diagnosis? Second, what is the probability of a patient having malignant or benign event given feature measurements as evidence? And third, how do models from literature compare to our proposed Bayesian network classifier in terms of accuracy, sensitivity, and specificity? In the related work, we briefly introduced the works and later we'll look at models mentioned in the works in the results section. Using the Wisconsin Breast Cancer Diagnostic Dataset, Wolberg and his colleagues proposed three models, Logistic Regression, Multi-Surface Method Tree, and Exist Program for the classification of benign and malignant cancer. Westerdegg also used this dataset and various feature selection methods and classification models. Abdu and his colleagues, employed Bayesian belief networks on software defects for structure learning, estimating parameters, and excluding false positives, which we integrate into our research. In works relating to Bayesian networks in breast cancer, Cruz Ramirez and his colleagues investigated seven Bayesian networks for single and multiple observers using two breast cancer databases. Palahi and Jafari found Bayesian network outperformed neural networks combined with association rules and neural network models. Lastly, Widaveen and her colleagues compared logistic regression to Bayesian networks and found Bayesian networks with the most links performed better and logistic regression slightly outperformed Bayesian networks. On this slide is the methodology overview for our research. For discretization, we categorize numeric variables into four categories using quartiles, low, medium, high, and very high levels. In the Bayesian network step for structure learning, we used greedy hill climbing search algorithm and a key key information criterion metric. For parameter learning, Peter Clark algorithm was implemented using G squared statistic test with significance alpha level 0.05. The next step for conditional probability querying, we looked at inference using the likelihood weighting method. We then built our proposed BN classifier using the Bayes method to fit parameters and evaluated our model. In the last step, we compared models from literature to our proposed model. So what is Bayesian network? It is a probabilistic graphical model that represents conditional dependencies between random variables. It is represented by a directed acyclic graph consisting of nodes that represent random variables and edges that represent conditional dependencies between these nodes. And each node has a local probability distribution contributed by its parents. Here is our learned Bayesian network using the data. 
The node labeled 2 is the diagnosis target node, and the bluish-gray nodes are the conditionally associated features which make up the Markov blanket. On this slide, we take a closer look at the Markov blanket, where we find the features diagnosis is conditionally associated with. These include its parents, worst radius and worst concave points, its spouses, compactness, standard error, mean smoothness and worst fractal dimension, and its children, mean texture and worst smoothness. The Markov blanket was checked and there were no false positives. Now looking deeper into the diagnosis node, we get conditional probabilities for our diagnosis node. This bar chart shows us the diagnosis node is conditionally dependent on these two features, worst concave points and worst radius, which are its parents. As we can see on the upper left corner, the lowest probability malignant and highest probability benign were detected by low levels for both worst concave points and worst radius. And on the lower right corner, we can see highest probability of malignant and low probability benign were detected by very high levels for both worst concave points and worst radius. This answers our first research question. On the right, a table shows the feature levels and their corresponding feature measurement intervals. From our learned Bayesian network, we were able to perform conditional probability queries to predict outcomes for potential patients. This would give patients a quantitative probabilistic risk profile. We look at the probability of an event, malignant or benign, given the intervals of the parent features. Here are a few examples, and looking just at the first example, the probability of a patient having malignant cancer given 0 to 0 0.0649 for worst concave points and 18.8 .8 to 36 micrometers for worst radius is 44%. In the next step, we built a BN classifier using tenfold cross-validation on the training set. Using the confusion matrix shown in the table, we calculated evaluation metrics for our proposed model. To highlight a few, accuracy was 96.31%, sensitivity was 92.92%, and specificity was 98.32%. In this table, we compare our proposed BN classifier model, which is highlighted in bold, to literature values from the related works. Wahlberg and his colleagues' highest model accuracy was 97.5% for the MSMT model, but both Westerdeg support vector machine and ensemble were slightly higher with 98.23% accuracy. Running a logistic model on our discretized dataset with Westerdeg's features showed a slightly lower accuracy of 94.71% and for Wahlberg and his colleagues' features showed a slightly higher accuracy of 96.47%. The slightly higher accuracy for Westerdeg's initial model could have been due to different pre-processing techniques. On this slide, the table continues to compare our model to other literature BN classifiers for breast cancer. To visually illustrate these accuracies, here is a visual representation. This bar chart shows our model's accuracy with the literature BN classifier models mentioned on the previous slide. Our model outperforms these models in terms of accuracy, except for Palahi and Jafari's model, that has an accuracy of 98.15%. This could have resulted from using the feature selection algorithm relief and synthetic minority oversampling technique. As for threats to validity, internal validity includes continuous variables have more variability making patterns difficult to capture. External validity includes generalizing to more recent data. Construct validity includes techniques for reducing false negatives. For future work, a finer granular quantitative analysis can be conducted with more intervals. In conclusion, our goal was to build a reliable decision support system to help physicians give quantitative probabilistic risk profiles for patients. Our methods included Bayesian network learning, parameter learning, inference, and model building. We found that the highest probability for malignant cancer and lowest probability for benign diagnosis were detected by 0.161 to 0.291 for worst concave points and 18.8 .8 to 36 micrometers for worst radius. 
the highest probability for benign diagnosis and lowest probability for malignant cancer were detected by 0 to 0 0.06494 for worst concave points and 7.93 to 13 micrometers for worst radius. Querying from our network can help clinicians detect the likelihood of patients' diagnoses, given feature measurements as evidence, and provide better risk profiles for patients. A proposed BN classifier had 96.31% accuracy, 92.92% sensitivity, and 98.32% specificity, suggesting it as a robust model in addition to its reliability, reproducibility, and explainability. Thank you for listening and hope you enjoyed the presentation.